well, I guess I should say happy Monday. It's the beginning of the week. Right now, it is Friday, so I'm about to start my weekend. Uh, right now, I'm in an Uber, and we are driving through the city. My life be like, wow, yeah. My life be like, I hate being late, you know I hate being late, but you know what happened? I was uploading my vlog, it's Friday today, I'm uploading my vlog, and then all of a sudden, it went and did that thing again where it was like, it's gonna take 500 minutes, and I'm like, you did not just say that. I had to troubleshoot my friend, Mose, and my neighbor, um, he, Mose is my neighbor and my friend, uh, he is at the restaurant, he's been waiting, we're going to our favorite brunch, place around the corner it's called Sambuca's oh my god I love it like you get so much food it's such great prices like and it's just it's not overcrowded it's not like you have people crammed on top of you and you feel like you can't talk it's awesome Moses great he is one of the most fabulous people I have ever met he's I met him actually because I was doing an interview and he was the person I was interviewing for a musical theater um, documentary he had on TV. He's a director and producer. And so we tend to go for brunch every now and then. And uh, and he has an awesome cat named Junie, who you're gonna have to see in the vlog sometime. She dances, she's pretty fab. Um, but yeah, like I said, thank God it's like right here. I'm pretty much right here. Wow, look at that. Wanna say hello to everybody? Sure. Okay, this is Mo's guys. And we, yeah, I see the jazz hands, isn't he fabulous? I described you as fabulous, and you just and proved I that. I am genuinely <laughs> fabulous. This is happening, so this is Sambuca, this is where we are right now. And this is what I get all the time, it's called Egg Natasha, it's like 10 bucks, which is amazing. And so it's like salmon, and hollandaise sauce, and the poached egg on top, and I, I love their Caesar salad. I'm a Caesar salad snob. Good, as you I, should be. As I should be. We should start a trend. <laughs> Caesar salad snobs. That should be our, <laughs> our, our club. Home fries, the best, the best home fries here. Mmm, look at that. That is what I'm talking about. You want this in your mouth? <laughs> Come to Sambuca's. <laughs> It is 10 30 at night, and I am heading to a karaoke bar. It is my friend's birthday. Her name is Erin. She works in PR, so basically, it's gonna be a bunch of PR girls who are usually the ones who are putting everyone in check, going a little buck wild, singing a little karaoke, which is probably one of my favorite things in the world. Okay, so um, I just realized that the last time I was somewhere like here, I was so inebri- inebri- I can't even say it. Inebri- inebriated. Yeah, that, that I don't even, like, you know, you just think things are like a dream. Went to a karaoke bar. I got put into a party bus with, down with Webster four years ago. Um, <laughs> Driven to the middle of nowhere, and that's where I met Harley Morenstein from Epic Meal Time for the first time. But he was so say it that he doesn't remember meeting me. So let's go do this again. Okay. Where are we going? We're gonna crash on the karaoke. That's like a serious. Oh my god, no, that's a black girl. We cannot. <laughs> Oh, this is totally our room. This is totally our room. You can tell. This one looks too. This is totally our room. Oh, no, 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 no,
This is what real girls do. Exactly. Take it from two glam girls. This is what you do you get me after a night. I might marry you. <laughs> is there a Rachel thing here? Yes. Rachel thing here? Yes, Tom. Rachel thing here. <laughs> right here. Right here. Thank you. 15 pounds. 15 pounds. Right over here. Yeah. 20 pounds. 20 pounds. Right over here. 20 pounds. Oh, yeah. Guys, I just had a brilliant thought. You know, I just walked here. In a matter of like five seconds. I know it wasn't actually five seconds because it never takes me five seconds to walk that distance, but I felt like five seconds. So that made me think, why the hell don't we work out when we're drunk? If we worked out when we were drunk, we would be so fit, so ripped, and be making such good gains. We would mentally be in the right place. Music seems like so much more epic when you're drunk. You would be so ripped if you worked out when you were drunk. Just saying. Whatever I said last night about working out when you're drunk, ignore all of that. Don't do that. That's not a good idea. Sometimes the best cure of a hangover is just pretending that you don't have one. Okay, so on Friday, I decided I would do a little giveaway every single vlog just because I have multiple things of things that can expire, like shampoos, makeup, and you know, whatever. That is what I found in the drawer that keeps on giving. All I wanted to know was uh, what was one productive thing that you did during the week and how did you find the motivation to do that? So let's pull this up. I read all of your comments just so you know. If your name is picked, this is what I need you to do in order for me to get in touch with you. I'll write a comment on your comment with my email and then you email me, like email me your address, your mailing address, and I will post it away. And you know what guys, I know that they're not like big gifts or anything, um, but it's really just fun for me to be able to also mail you something, make that direct connection, and write you a little note because you, yes, you right there are actually helping me build my life. Even though it seems very insignificant to just be like, okay, just like, subscribe, doesn't seem like a big deal. You actually are helping me a lot. So I wanna be able to give back in any way I can. And I find acknowledgement is one of the simplest things, but most effective things I can actually do. And just let you know that I appreciate it and I thank you. It is time to pick a winner. Scrolling, I'm just gonna pick somebody. Then we're just gonna see where they're at. And then I'm just going to send it to you. All right. So I am sending this to Serene Chaos. This is her comment. The drawer that keeps on giving. I freaking love it. It is so awesome that you're sharing and connecting to your followers. Thank you. Today, my productivity or accomplishment is mostly legal stuff and getting homework done for my college classes. You see, my little one, I'm guessing your son, my little one and I escaped domestic violence six years ago. Now, after years of absence, he is seeking custody. So, my motivation is a safe and better future for my child. The system is tough for those without a lot of money, at least in the US, but I'm staying positive. I am going to do my best for the best interests of my child. Keep up the great work, Rachel, and tell Matt, thank you for being a brave voice against domestic violence. Serena, I couldn't think of a better person to give this to. I'm gonna write you a little note and I'm going to put this beside the note and I really hope that, I really hope that it makes you smile. Keep working, keep going, keep running towards your goal. You will get there and it will be okay. It's a shitty time right now. You're actually going and taking that step of getting this legal stuff done. Just keep going. Do not give up faith. Let's open it on up. Let's do this. I've got an Olay Fresh Effects Deep Pore Clean Exfoliating Scrub. It says, out of this world. Whoa. I use an exfoliant. It's like, it's like the, um, they're like creams with like little, it it's kind of feels like sand and then you put it on your skin and then apparently all the dead skin cells fall off and then it exfoliates your body. So if you want that, let's do another creative thing. Um, 
head on over to my Instagram account because very close to 10,000 followers on Instagram. So why don't we go to my Instagram account, give me a follow, and then in the last picture that I put up, just write the word happy mug. Where's my happy mug? Just write the word happy mug because I basically just wanna see a bunch of people who haven't watched the videos be like, why the hell are is everybody writing happy mug on her photos? I just think it'd be funny. <laughs> Let me just explain this. I went to go get pizza. I had this feeling. I'm like, there's something that I need to do at Pizzolia. And I, or I don't even know how to say the name. Pizzolia. 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 I don't, I, I don't know. Um, but I was like, I'm going to see somebody I know. And I knew it. And I, I made two conscious decisions of it. I almost went to Subway and I was like, nope, I have to go to this pizza place or somebody that I need to see there. And then I randomly walked up and I saw my friend Scott. Hey ladies. And how weird is that? Love carbs and go for pizza more often, please and thank you. Maybe that'll be our next date. <gasps> I need a date. Maybe this is our available. Place. Oh, I just wanted to show this moment because I love coincidences sure. that happen. Not a coincidence, this is meant to be. I agree. You're a very bad influence on me. So, hold on, we gotta close this. Copyright issues, copyright issues. Okay, okay. Carl Wolf texted me and was like, yo, do you wanna meet up? I'm like, okay, we're going, coming out. And you were just like chilling on the couch and you were just and like, I'm like, oh. Pajamas are like 15 minutes away. And he's like, no, we're not, we're not. So now I figure out what to do with my hair and I have no clue what to do. This is a stress. Ah, why are you stressed? This is life. I know. I have fun. I was, I was, like I said, like, Two minutes away from pajama time. All right, so we are on King Street, and this is like the clubbing district in Toronto, and it's packed. It's a Saturday night. Typically on a Saturday night, people who live out of town come here. So we're going to the keg, meeting up with Mr. Carl Wolf. So let's go ahead inside. What we do here is go back, 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 back. I just went platinum with Omi's new record, Hula Hoop. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. You wrote that song. I wrote the song, co-wrote it with Jensen Vaughn. The only song. Do you know I'm going to put that song in right now. Round and round you love it winds me up like a hula hula hoop. Hula hula hoop. Oh. It's a hula hula hoop. Hula. Congratulations. Thank you. That's amazing. Awesome. Oh, and if you haven't checked out our collab video, I'm also going to put that in the link in the description below because I got him dressed up in a I don't even know, but you have to go watch that because I'm even proud of myself. All right, we're heading to a place called Union right now. Matt doesn't have any carbs in this place. I'm eating cheese on top of a turkey bacon. And it's not as good as a hot dog. I'll deal with it. Good morning. Yes, I'm saying good morning, even though it's the afternoon because uh, I basically just got up. Now, I am heading down the street over here to my friend Patrick's. Um, he and I are going on a food adventure as we always do. Our Basically our natural bond is over food. I'm running across the street. Oh. Um, our bond is food. We just basically hang out and eat. That is the extent. Everybody. I tend to like to have dance parties and elevators whenever nobody is in here. I don't know why, it just feels right. Chicken, some mac and cheese with some cornbread. Hopefully, they got some Kool Aid. Kool Aid? Some green. Who drinks Kool Aid? Who doesn't drink Kool Aid? I don't drink Kool Aid. Some red Kool Aid. I bet you every one of your followers loves Kool Aid. Okay, let's put on some good jams. 
um, that I am gonna know that you you would play at your '90s birthday party. Oh, I like that. This one you gotta okay. know. You gotta know this one. <gasps> oh, you got. Let's go inside. Let's see how good it is. Out of ten, no? Give that like maybe like a five. Okay. Yeah. That sauce. Yeah. I'm giving it a nine. Okay. Charcoal slug. That's bad. That's good? I'll give that an eight. Alright. And nine. then try this one. The fries are what? You rate it? Fries I give like a seven. Okay. Sandwich. Verdict. Bum bum bum. Get out of six. Really? That's better than that. Though. Okay. So overall, the meal gets out of ten. Overall, the meal is a solid eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Boom. Chicory. Check it out if you want. I'm gonna go shove my face with food now. Yeah. Wow! Guys, this is one of the best hot chocolates I've ever had. Mm. It tastes like marshmallows. It's really good. Mm. I highly recommend it. You should totally have it. Alright guys. Alright. Alright. <laughs> I am home. I don't know how I feel so good, but I just feel great. Maybe because I just had a lot of fried food. It is Monday today. That's when you're watching this. So it's the beginning of the week. So give it your all. Uh, go accomplish what you want to accomplish. And I will see you on Friday with a brand new vlog showing you everything I do this week, which is gonna be pretty crazy. I'm planning a five million subscriber party for Matt, Matt Santoro. I have a lot of meetings, some important meetings coming up, so I'll be taking you along the ride. So click subscribe if you wanna see that on Friday. I upload new vlogs every Friday and every Monday. I'm rambling, I gotta go before, I'm gonna like quickly edit this and then I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna wear a onesie, I'm gonna sleep, and I'm gonna be in my food coma, and it's a Sunday night, so I'm just gonna like watch movies. This will be great. Okay, I don't know what that sound was. It's time to go. All right, love you guys. Three thousand subscribers! It happened! Oh my god! That's so weird.